What's going on everyone, it's Granny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about my favorite meme coin strategies, how I chase those hundred Xs, but in the safest way possible. If you like my content, please subscribe down below, smash the like button on this video. It really helps the algo recognize me as a content creator. Hit that notification bell because it means you can stay up to date with my regular crypto videos. I'm still running the sale on my group. That's probably gonna close in the new year. So please reach out over Twitter DMs if that's something that you're interested in onto the video. So as you can see on the screen here, guys, I've actually detailed them out and written them out for you. So you can pause the video at any time and just stop and clarify some of the strategies that I suggest. Now, I have um, perfected these over the past couple of months by trading uh, hundreds of meme coins, okay, across several blockchains, um, ETH, SOL, AVAX, Injective, etc., etc. So these are strategies that work across all blockchains and things that have worked for me that have returned, obviously, 350x, as you can see on the screen. Now, just for proof, obviously, guys, more recently, um, here are some of my wins that have tallied to about a 25 to 30x, okay, that was on the 19th of December. Uh, this tweet here shows you a mix of trades across several different um, ETH and SOL trades that have tallied to, again, another 50X or so, and that was at the start of December, as you can see here. And then lastly, in October, I tallied over 175X by trading a lot of ETH meme coins when gas was low, okay? Um, and again, you can see that tweet here. Now, obviously, with the lucrative side of meme coins, um, there's also that risk. So please always do your research. This isn't financial advice. This is purely an educational content video to show you how I go about it and use my strategies to perfect the way that I like to trade meme coins. All right, here are my strategies. So as you can see here, guys, um, at the start, I, I like to stress this, okay? The best way to maximize your profit is to always take initial out at 2x. So I like to use market cap to track that. So if I'm in something at 50k, I'm then taking my initials out at 100k. If it's 5 million, I'm taking my initials out at 10 million and so on and so on. Now, I also like to lock in a little bit of profit at a 2x. Now that ensures that if it does go to zero, or if it does rip higher, at least I have locked in some profit. So do take 10% even more than half of your tokens out. So then that way you lock in not only your initials, but also your profit. Now that allows you to grow wealth over time. Okay. And that's what we are here to do. Grow wealth over a long period of time. Um, as it says here, I then like to scale out of positions along the way. So I set particular targets, whether it's a 3x or whether it's a 10x, um, I like to scale out of positions again, because you're not going to time the top and you're not going to time the bottom. So always scale out of positions to maximize your profits. Now I use TA. I'm a chart guy. You've seen that on my Twitter, but that's how I like to track particular levels that I think um, prices are going to reach. Okay. And then that way I can maximize my profits. Now one thing I have taught myself over the past couple of weeks is to actually uh, keep five to ten percent in. I bought WIF, okay, at about um, down here at about 200k and swing traded it to 400k for a 2x. I thought that was mad. I was super happy with that. I then actually shared it in my group again at about 17 mil and said this could probably run. Okay, it ended up running to 200 and 90,000 uh, million. Sorry, so 300 million actually on the chart here, as we can see. Okay, now. The, the sad thing about that is I didn't leave my five to 10% bag in. And if I did, that would have been over a thousand X return. So again, it might be good. Okay. But these things could and always do go to zero, which is my next point, And we'll discuss that. But it is now my strategy to leave a little bit in there in case they run absolutely insane and have over a thousand X returns. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to just discuss is I like to use bots to get ahead. Now I have released a, a bonk bot tutorial recently. You can check that out on my channel. Okay. And it allows you to, um, trade in and out of Solana meme coins super easy. Now I do have a referral down below that you can use to sign up and I would highly suggest you watch that video and then sign up because it just makes it so much more seamless. You don't have to worry about manually trading some of these meme coins using DEXs. You can just use BonkBot and it's super easy if you embed it into your Telegram, okay? But be sure to check that video out. Some other bots that you can use, you can use Maestro on Ethereum, you can use uh, Prodigy, which goes across several different blockchains. So do your own research into which bot, bot, bot works for you uh, because they are very useful when trading meme coins. All right. All meme coins do go to zero, okay? Whether it takes months, whether it takes years, whether it takes minutes, okay? They all go to zero. This is an example, okay? RMD, I was trading this back in October. As you can see here, the liquidity, the market cap is now at nine thousand dollars. It was in the hundred, it was at a couple mil. Okay. It ran up to $2 million. I'm pretty sure from memory. Okay. So please always do your research. Please always be careful. And please again, maximize your profits by scaling out of positions and then cutting your weak positions. Okay. Which is my next strategy. Now I use TA. Okay. As you can see here, I have bonk on the screen. Um, if bonk was to say I was in this trade because I thought it was going to break up, but it ended up breaking down, down into this sort of region down here, I would have cut that trade because it, it doesn't follow my system, okay? And I use TA to sort of understand where bullish structure goes and where bearish structure goes. And that is how I manually trade 
using the charts and then go, okay, I want to cut here and to save my profit, uh, to save my capital, which is in my opinion, just as important as making capital, but it allows me to just see whether we're trending bullish or whether we're trending bearish. Okay. So always be aware and cut weak positions. If you are in a trade that's starting to go down because protecting your capital is so important for longevity in crypto. Now, time of the day matters. Now, this is one thing I don't speak about often, but is super important. You cannot trade when there's no liquidity. You cannot trade when there's low volume, okay? Because things just don't follow through. Yes, the chart might um, have a nice setup, but if there's no volume supporting that setup, then it just doesn't happen, okay? It might pump a little bit, but then it's often gonna break down. Now, a key factor is bonk, okay? So if you look here, guys, as you can see on the screen, it actually has the volume bars down the bottom. What you notice is that we had green, 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 and then a huge green candle, which is essentially this candle here and that candle up here. So so it broke out of my chart TA here, which is a bullish continuation chart pattern, as you can see on the screen, but because the volume supported it, that's why it rocketed up several X's, okay? And so if you look there, that's a 1.5, so a 2.5 X returns in the space of a couple of days if it has that volume supporting. So timing during the day is super important. Now, I like to trade in the mornings, Aussie time, so that's 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So again, that's when I have found that works the best for you, uh, for me, sorry. So definitely find when works best for you today trade. Um, I spoke about volume candles. Learn how the chart works, guys. So obviously, as you can see here on the chart with Bonk, I use TA because it, again, it just shows you whether something is trending bullishly or whether it's trending bearishly. Now, sometimes obviously, um, TA, a TA on a token that's only got 10 or 50K market cap isn't going to be um, super specific and super reliable, okay? But it does help with working out whether we're trending bullishly or whether we're trending bearishly. So definitely do your do do your research and learn how to trade different tokens using chart analysis. Now, I will run some more live streams about how I do this in, in the future coming weeks. So be sure to tune in and do subscribe so you can stay up to date when I drop those live streams, okay? Again, here's another example and another top Solana um, meme coin that you can trade okay, using TA. And you can see here, it, it consolidated for a period of time. The dips were bought up, okay? So it's showing me that there's um, strength in the dips. So people are buying in, but it's also being rejected from this high, but it's pushing up there several times. So it's eventually gonna break out higher and it's supported by that volume candle there, as you can see on the screen. Another strategy I like to use, guys, okay? Um, last couple of strategies, guys, so not many left, okay? Always check the safety of a token before you enter, okay? A lot of things rug every single day, okay? Things rug on Solana within minutes, things rug on ETH within an hour, okay? So always do your research. Um, as you can see here, I use Auto Simulator on Telegram for ETH bots, uh, for ETH checks. I use Soul Scanner and Rug Check for Solana tokens. AVAX, you can use the Dex Screen and Go Plus Security down if you scroll on the side. You can use all of these just to check that you're in a safe token. And obviously the last one, you can use Bird Eye, as you can see on the screen, and it gives you a whole range of um, different token uh, security things that you need to know if you're getting into your, your tokens, okay? So that's another strategy that I like to do when I'm doing my research around entering different tokens. All right, this one's really important. Now, different blockchains and different meme coins have different strategies, okay? Now, Solana, there are a lot of sellers in Solana because it's easy to get in and out of trade. So sellers get in and get out as soon as they can because they lock in minimal profits, okay? You can only trade with like $1 if you want to on Solana because there's no gas and it's super fast. So one thing to watch with Solana is that people can dump a chart very, very quickly. ETH, obviously people are a little bit more bag holding because they have to pay gas whenever they transact on ETH. Similar, there's more money on ETH. So often tokens can run up quite hard on ETH compared to Solana because they just have the backing of so much more money compared to Solana. But that is starting to change as we've seen the past couple of weeks. Obviously AVAX, you need to be wary of the gas prices. Um, inscriptions have been going on on AVAX so they were heavily up um, around ETH. But again, because AVAX doesn't have as much liquidity, they the tokens on AVAX actually grind up nice and slowly. So if you watched um, Cock Inu, you would have seen that it trended up really slowly, but actually went up to 200 plus million, okay? So lastly, as you can see, I've touched on a couple of new blockchains. So we've got Injective there. So it's new and upcoming. So again, it's probably more DGEM because there's not as much liquidity there. And Arbitrum has actually started to see some tokens take off as well. So it's easy to get in and out of those trades because again, the ETH money is coming into Arbitrum and it's an L2, so it's cheaper and faster, okay? So again, different blockchains require different strategies. And again, learn this by trading these meme coins. Search on Twitter. As you come um, across here, you would see that it, all of them have a search on Twitter bar. Go on to Dexscreen and hit that search on Twitter because sentiment means a lot. If you 
don't trade on sentiment and you trade on only chart price action. It, it can work, but, but you want to have that whole perspective, okay? So sentiment on Twitter, you want to see that people are talking about this token, okay? People are uh, dropping videos, people are dropping, uh, look at this, like every single minute, every like every hour, there's, there's people talking about Mario. So it is a good sentiment token if you can play your cards right with the TA as well. Lastly, guys, don't marry your bags, okay? Have a system. If you have a system, you're going to succeed longer term in crypto. Do not marry bags. Do not emotionally trade. That is a big no-no and that is a strategy that it's taken a lot of time for me to succeed with, but it is, it's meant that I've returned 350x across the past couple of months and not worried about a single back, okay? Now, those are all of my strategies. I hope you have found this extremely insightful. Um, please let me know any strategies that you use down below in the comments. Okay, I'm always looking to learn. I'm always um, ready for feedback. So please comment down below if you have any strategies that you like to use when trading meme coins. It's extremely risky, guys, trading meme coins, but it can be super lucrative, as I've said. So always do your own research and thanks for watching. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top best strategies for how I trade meme coins and chase those 100Xs. Again, a reminder, please subscribe to the channel down below, smash a like button so the algo recognizes me as a content creator, turn the notification bell on so that you stay up to date with my regular crypto videos. Again, reach out over Twitter DMs if you're interested in joining my private alpha group uh, because I'm closing that very, very soon. As always, guys, take care, have an amazing Christmas, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.